right, eighth graders, welcome back. We're in 5.6, example two. We're going to solve a system of linear inequalities by graphing. Now, at this time, what you may want to do is grab colored pencils or two different colored pens or, you know, if you, if you want to color code. Some students, it doesn't bother them. They don't need to see the different colors, and some do. Um, I, I like the color coding, so I will be on this video color coding for you just to set up a difference, okay? Now, they gave us two inequalities. We've got this 8x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. Now, that standard form, in order for me to graph that, I am going to do the cover-up method and find my x-intercept and my y-intercept. So, I'm going to cover up the 4y. And I've got 8x is equal to 12, and then divide each side by 8. I know it's not going to go evenly, so if I reduce that by 4, I'll have, um, looks like 3 over 2, which is about 1 and a half. 3 over 2 is exactly 1 and a half, okay? Now, if I cover up the 8x, and now I've got 4y is equal to 12, um, divide each side by 4, and my y-intercept is going to be 3, okay? It's uh, got an equal to sign, so I'm definitely going to draw a solid line, and then when I'm done drawing it, um, I'll determine um, which side to shade. So let's get that started. I'm going to come down here and let's make sure I've got plenty of room to draw this. There we go. Looks great. And I'm going to change colors, and this would be a good time for you to change colors as well. I'm going to circle this first equation in red to remind me that that's the equation I'm working with. And, um, and so I'm going to find one and a half on the x-axis. There it is. Estimate that halfway between one and two. And po find positive three on the y-axis. And then make sure you draw your solid line. Okay, there it is. Great job. Looks good. And then we need to figure out which side to shade. We've got to figure out which side's the less than side. So you know me, I like 0, 0. So I'm going to plug in 0 for the x. So there it is. And 0 for the y. And is that actually less than 12? So 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 12. And the answer is. Y. Yes, it is. So you're going to shade the side that has 0, 0 on it. That would be the left side of your red line. Okay? Now I'm going to draw a couple extra lines in here, just like this. Beautiful. Okay, I'm changing colors. I'm going to go, let's do that bright green. Okay, now the second line is in slope-intercept form. So I'm just going to go come over here. I've got plenty of more room y equals 1 half x minus 2. That's in slope intercept form. I don't need to do anything special. My y intercept is at negative 2. So I'm going to mark it with my next color, my new color. And then I'm going to use my slope to find other points. So up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. Or I could have gone down 1, left 2. I could have done that too. And then, remember, there's no equal to sign, so dash this line, okay? All right, there it goes. So now i got to figure out um, which side to shade. That's what i got to figure out right now. That's the most impending thing. So there's 0, 0. Above my green dash line, that's above it. So I could try 0, 0, and so is 0 bigger than 1 half times 0 minus 2? In other words, is 0 bigger than negative 2? Now, how did I get negative 2? Well, 0 times 1 half is 0, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So is 0 bigger than negative 2? Yes, it is. So the green line, we're going to shade above it. Okay, that's where 0, 0 is, and that's where we should shade. Now, as soon as you see the green lines crisscrossing the red lines, that, my friends, is where all the answers are, okay? So I'm going to change colors again. Actually, I'm going to go to a highlighter color, 
maybe go to yellow because I want to show you the boundary. Okay, here's the boundary right here along this red line, including the red line. And then we're going to take a sharp left. We're going to head out this way and everything in between. Okay, wherever you see the crosshatch of the green line and the red lines, that's where all the answers are for both that will satisfy the whole system. If I picked a point in that crosshatch area, it would work in the top equation and it would work in the bottom equation. That's where the solutions are. And then they asked us, give two ordered pairs that are solutions. Okay, well, just go to that crosshatch area and pick some points out. So definitely zero, zero, that's a solution. Um, that, I'll mark that. Uh, right here, that's going to be negative 1, 1. Anywhere where that crosshatch area of green and red lines, and where I highlighted, I kind of overkilled it with the highlighter. Wherever you see the um, highlighter, that those are potential answers. The only exception would be any points that are on the green line. They don't work. Points on the red line do work. Points on the green line do not because it's dashed. Now, the other thing that they asked us, this, these are solutions, they asked us to find um, two that are not solutions. So pick any points that are not in that double crosshatch area that I've highlighted yellow. Go anywhere you want, okay? I'm gonna change to blue to kind of show this. Um, that's not in the double crosshatch area, neither is this, neither is this, neither is this. So you have lots of opportunities, lots of choices to choose from. Um, neither is this right here on the x-axis. So pick anything. Uh, the first one I drew was, um, let's see, one, two, one, two, three. So the first one was two, three. I have an x-axis, one, two, three, zero. So I, there's two that are not solutions right here. There are so many possibilities. Um, I could imagine your classmates could choose um, different ones. It's very possible. Different ones from you. All right? So let me flip to the next page and see. Nope, that's the next example. But I just wanted to show you how to graph systems of linear inequalities. So definitely, if you want to color code like I did, go for it. Won't hurt my feelings. Bring your questions to class tomorrow. Thanks a lot.